Welcome back, guys. At the end of the last episode, we got the night light, uh, and we've got all the bits and pieces we need to make our first set, well, our first piece of armor, which is our chest armor. Now, we could run back to base, but a lot easier to just teleport. Boom! And we're back at base. Excellent. So now, uh, we should be able to go to here, and let's see, construction. What do we want to make? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. We want to go. I think we want to go to our sawmill, don't we? We want to go to our sawmill. Yeah, we want to go to our sawmill, and we want to make. Here we go. A log chest. Awesome sauce. Right, so let's build that, and we should get the flashy screen saying we've built it. Here we go. Now, oh, now each time you make a piece like this. Um, it has a different set of stats. There's a, there's a random element to this. So uh, this is a log chest of thorns. And this has a 30% damage reflect. So every time we take damage, we'll reflect 30% of that damage back to our enemy. That's pretty nice. 15% uh, toughness and uh, adds 34 health. Excellent. Let's equip that. Cool. And let's see what it looks like. Whoa. Okay. Oh, it looks like, looks like she's got uh, like a real six pack going. But this is nothing compared to the armor that we will we, we be getting, which looks really, really cool. Um, so I'm now protected by the power of wood. I need to figure out how to stop these, uh, these creatures from killing me. They're mighty aggressive. Oh, I bet you could get all kinds of useful parts out of these hideous beasts. Here we go. Fire up that analytic engine of yours and find out uh, how, how to make something stabby with the parts we have. And... Uh, Sounds like he's actually taking a crap, doesn't it? But he's actually f figuring out what to make. A proper shank for a proper delivery driver. Get it built. Here we go. What do we got? This is... Oh, it's a, it's a sawgrass sword. Oh, we like that. Right, so what do we need to make a sawgrass sword? Oh, now this is going to... Hang on, this is not in there. This is going to be in the sawmill, isn't it? Is it in the sawmill? Yeah, here we go. Here's the new item. And it's the sawgrass sword. And we need uh, we need some more wood and we need some more sword grass. Surprise, surprise. Uh, we are tracking it, so... Yeah, yeah, we're tracking it up here. So we just go and get some more stuff. So we've got sword grass over here. So we'll trot over here. And grab this sword grass. And more sword grass down here. I'm, I'm kind of looking out for wood as we go. There's plenty of sawgrass, not a whole lot of wood so far. There's bound to be some... Uh, there's some wood. Yeah, see some wood over here. Oh, we've got wampits. We're going to be killing the wampits very soon. Once we've got our sword. Oh, 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 now this is the thing. When, you, when you're um, harvesting stuff, you can get random things like... What is this? An old man statue. Cool. No idea what it's for, but what the hell. <laughs> now, the Wumpets shouldn't be aggressive as long as we're not just chopping wood. But when if we chop sawgrass around them, they will get very aggressive. And there's all kinds of other plants, there's like, like these things. Which, um, this is whistle root. And no doubt we'll get some, uh, we'll get a use for that later on. Right, is that enough? Yeah, we've got all the stuff. So, again, again, we can just go back to base. Oh, and we've got another teleport location over there. Awesome. Is that active? Yeah, it is. So, literally, as soon as you get close enough to it, you're, um, you've got it. So, you know what? Like, while we're here, just grab a bit more. Grab a bit more wood. Okay, that's enough. Uh, let's go back to base and let's make our sword. And then we can go and kill one pit. Switch. Let's face it, that's what we really want to do. So, back to our sawmill. Here's our sawgrass sword. Now, wonder what random stats we're going to get on this. Hopefully, it'll be something cool. Poke it. And... Oh, this is a... Now, this is a blue item, which is slightly better. And I think you get, like, white, green, and blue. This is pretty good. This has got a move speed bonus. Uh, two and a half attacks per second, damage 72, which is a hell of a lot more than we were doing before. Vampire chance, which I guess is um, a chance to suck the life out of the enemy and give it to us, which is awesome. 
uh, of 11% and a bleed chance of 11%. This is a really, really good sword. Let's equip that. Okay, back. Taste my blade. Hell yeah. What does it taste like? Celery, actually. <laughs> I did like the humor in this game. It's very good. Hmm. We'll need a better station to make that comm device. Those beasts look like they have some good hides on them. Take some of their leather, leathery skin bits and build us a skinnery. Sounds good. Sorry, uh, I was doodling. Did you say something? Just defeat some of those wampits and build us a skinnery, Flux. You'll need some new parts, maybe from those greyish reeds near the water. Ah, see, that whistle route. I knew it could be useful. Right, new quest. The best defence. So, we'll, um, we'll grab some of this stuff. We need, what, we need like 22 whistle root. We need one pit skin and one pit bones. So, uh, I'm still going to grab a bit more sawgrass because I'm sure we're going to need it at some point. Uh, see, now, let's see how, like, when it gets dark, he automatically switches to his nightlight. Which I've got to say, isn't like staggeringly bright, <laughs> but it'll do. Chop that. Oh, yes. What we got with what we got. Oh. A bureau scroll. Ooh, I wonder what that's for. Now, if I want to know what it's for, um, there is this thing, which is like the compendium, and uh, it it tells you like what con what what, uh, what your current quest is, and you get details on that. There's the the quest that you're on, and then if you go to data, uh, so sawgrass. So it tells you all about sawgrass. If we go down here, uh, there's bacon weed, log tree. So what is the log tree? The log tree drops sawdust and logs and log tree seeds. And then whistle root, which is what we're ca collecting at the moment. You can get whistle borers, uh, whistle root reed, and a spood beast. Cool. Very cool. And as you can see, there's tons of stuff in here that we haven't discovered yet. Loads and loads of stuff. And once we start killing, like, one pits and stuff, then we'll get information about one pits. And the information you get about the beasts that you kill is pretty damn good, I have to say. It, like, in a lot of games, the, the games are kind of secretive about everything. This game's kind of the opposite. It tells you pretty much everything, which I have to say, I kind of like. Now, one pits uh, basically jump up and down on you. And they, get, they, they show you like a, a red circle of where they're going to jump. And you've just got to avoid it um, while you're killing them. So let's go and kill this guy who's off on his own. So, whack. Wow. Oh, and he just stomped on me. And you can see he did 28 damage. So what you have to do is, um, is just try and dodge where they're going to stomp. Whoa. Oh, man. And I just got stomped to death. That is how quickly you can get killed, okay? Right, now we'll try and avoid that happening. Uh, full computer analysis complete. Bureaupedia calls them Wompits. Stomp happy creatures that love sawgrass. Since you uh, dissected it, I was able to learn what makes them tick. I'll add my findings of their weaknesses to your compendium. Uh, is that book icon, uh, it's that book icon in the bottom left of your visor. It keeps a log of all your tasks separate so you don't get confused. Excellent. Keep those analysis rolling. Cool. So now let's go back to that compendium and you'll see. So if we go to um, to data and now we can see one pits. And it tells you these bouncy critters can be found all over the savannah. They're usually found munching on sawgrass. Uh, physical damage with sporadic rapid attacks. That's like a double jump that they do, which you'll see. Uh, it tells you um, all of all their stats. Uh, brawling, when this creature is domesticated and at your side, which you can do, you can, you can get these as a, like a pet, a companion, and it tells you all about. And you can have uh, normal ones, powerful ones, and epic ones. <laughs> tells you all the things that they can drop. There you go, see? It's like the game tells you like so much about everything. I kind of like that. Right. Um, so let's try now to kill a one pit and actually not die. Now, because um, when when you die, you don't start with full health. So we're going to eat one of our pies, I think, to uh, to get us a few hit points. In fact, might, might eat two pies. There we go. Uh, we definitely want to stop dying. That that would be a really good way to advance in the game. Don't die. So 
Whoa! See, and I, he still caught me. You have to move. Oh, that was a double jump. Oh. Oh, double jump. Oh, got him. Right. I bet I could stun a Wompit with my uh, with my uh, wrench if I throw it hard enough. Great idea. Just select it on your action bar and you can hurl it at your enemies on the next attack. What if all my action slots are filled up? Open up your suit manager, poke the uh, poke the slot you want to switch the space wrench in uh, the space wrench into and hit equip. Simple as pie, Flux. Then you can whip it out in combat and stun these beasts. Kind of like at that Opif party when uh, when Will. Uh, yeah, okay. Got the picture. Thanks. So down here, this is um, this is our suit, and we've got here's our, here are our action slots, and down here we've got in here the wrench. Ta-da! So currently this is on. Um, I don't know. Let's go back. This is on our D key. So if we go, let's go. There's two together there. We don't want to take on two at a time. <laughs> I, I'm, I suck so much. It's difficult taking on one. Um, and in fact, these are kind of grouped up a little bit. Let's just try and take this one out. So um, with this guy, we'll uh, let's see. So throw the wrench at him and then dive in. Uh, that stuns him for a second. Oh, move out of the way. Oh, double jump. Uh, I've got him. Now, it's not that hard, to be honest. And and you'll find with the creatures, they all have different kinds of attacks. And they show you what they're going to do. And it's just a question of kind of skill, which I'm very, very severely lacking in. Stop grouping up. Horrible monsters. It's, yeah, okay, well, well, we'll try and take this guy. So, let's stun him. And then whack, 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 whack. Oh, damn it, I got hit. I thought I was going to be able to take him out in one go, but I wasn't. So, well, let's... Uh, I, now, you, this thing has a cooldown. Let's, uh, let's stun him. Oh, that was too slow there. Well, well move out of the way. Well, double jump. Boom, boom, boom. Move out of the way. Well, and he's dead. So you can see that killing the monsters, it's not that hard, really. Oh, oh, over here, all the stuff that I um, dropped when I died, uh, which doesn't actually help me out too much. But we've got a, a stray Wompit over here. So let's, let's stun him. Whack, whack, run away. And whack, whack. Oh, can I get two in? Oh, oh got him. Got him just before he stomped me. Uh, we yeah, probably need to kill a couple more. What's this? Let's go and stun it. Whack, whack, whack. Oh, get out of the way. And whack, got him. See, like, if you're sensible about it, it's not that hard, really. Uh, this is on cooldown. Oh, get out of the way. Oh, double. Oh, he hit me. Son of a... Double, double again. Well, move. Hit him, hit him. Oh, get out of the way. Oh, oh, get out of the way. Oh, double jump and he hit me. Oh, you. But fortunately, our weapon, because it's got the the, um, the vampire effect, we're actually getting some hit points back. We need one more bone to complete this. So, whoa, get out of the way. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. Oh, got him. And it's that. Yeah, that's everything we need. Thank God. Hopefully, I can get some better armor now. So, let's go uh, Let's go back to base. And we'll see what we can do. Alrighty. So, what are we trying to make? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. We're trying to make our skinnery. Here's our skinnery. You're now crafting with Wompit parts. Love it. Build the skinnery. Ching, poke it. Ta-da! Station assembled. And look at all the stuff that you can craft. Okay, cool. So uh, let's go back. We'll we'll place that. There's our skinnery. We can now place that somewhere. Let's place that there. Cool. 
<laughs> That's the skinnery is creepy. Creepy and effective. You'll need more powerful weapons and armor to fight the beasts around here. See what new weapons you can build. Ooh, okay, cool. There's a saw board in here I could put together. Well, if you want to track a recipe from one of our stations, hit the track button next to build. Yeah, we already know about that. I bet there's a ton of stuff to build and discover around here. I wonder why the Bureau never fully explored this place. Not the time for silly questions, Flux. We've got to build that comm device and deliver these packages. Think I'll give up my employer of the month streak or take a pension cut? No way. We'll need something to broadcast the signal. Let me scan for a crystal resonator. Uh, I think he's scanning. Okay, convenient. There is an extremely, <laughs> extremely resonant substance nearby. We could use it as the transmitter for our device. Cool. Throw the location on the map and I'll check it out when I feel like it. Okay, let's go and take a look at the skinnery and see what we can make. Now, ha ha ha. What's this? A womp vest. A level three chest plate. If you plan to run a marathon, be sure to bring tape. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, we just need some uh, some Wompit leather, and we can make this Womp vest. What else can you make? Womp gloves? Womp pants? Oh, a sawboard. Level 2 weapon. This bad boy is 100% certified organic, organically deadly. Awesome. Oh, I think we want to I think we want to make that, and we want to make some armor as well. There's a Womp hat as well. This looks really cool, this hat when you're wearing it. So, uh, so yeah, we want to, we want to make some of this. I would just, I think we just go and grab like a load of stuff and then see what we can make. Because I would like to make all the armor and the weapon, but you know what? We'll track, uh, we'll track that. Okay, let's go womp killing. Uh, now let's have a look at the map and see where. Oh, oh, here it is. I think, I think that's where we need to. Exit. So let's explore out this way then. Seems like a plan, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. Uh, okay. Let's go down here. Let's go kill Wompits. Okay, Wompit. You're going to get yours. Oh, move out of the way. Oh, move. Uh, as, and, as, as long as you're not greedy and try and get too many hits, they're, they're really not that difficult to kill. Here we go, another Wompit. Move out of the way. There we go, and you can see we're, it doesn't even take that long to gather all of the things that you need. Whoa, oh, he got me with a double. Okay, yeah, we're still okay, we're still okay. Let's get this guy, well, double, oh, whack, whack. I could probably have killed him in, if I'd have been a bit better. Oh, killed him in midair, love it. Okay, so I've um, I've done a load of farming to get a load of stuff, so that we can uh, we can make a bunch of things. Trying to try and speed things along. Now I just killed a wompit heifer. Now they, these regular wompits are, are called wompits, and then there's a slightly bigger one which is called a wompit heifer, which I just killed. And I got this, which is you smacked an egg right out of that wompit. Awesome, cool. I could use this to make an enormous breakfast burrito. Or maybe you could hatch it. Imagine your own pet wompit, and this is how you get pets. You get eggs from the creatures, and uh, and then you, you grow them into your own pets. Uh, you can it'll follow you around and stomp your enemies into splatters. That sounds gross and awesome. I bet you could make an incubator. Uh, if you could make an incubator, you could have it. Try this, and we get a recipe. Mother duck. We get a new storyline. So, wompit incubator. Oh, sweet. Now, I have discovered a few other little things, which I'll, um, I'll kind of show you as we get back. Um, let's keep grabbing stuff. Um, okay, so let's get back to base and actually make some stuff. So, as you can see, I've been having a, a, a bit of a, a good hunt around. Um, I didn't get down to, to, to this thing. And also, I got this, which I thought I'd save until, until I'd finished like harvesting a whole bunch of stuff. And let's go, let's go and see what this thing is. Because it's a kind of a weird symbol. And I thought I'd show you guys. This is... What the heck is this? That looks like a mutant sawgrass blade. Three blades instead of one. Whoa! We haven't seen anything like it. I bet it's ultra rare. Oh, we found something rare. Cool. 
can we do something useful with it? I know, we, I can use it to rake leaves in front of the base and keep the yard all nice and tidy and rake leaves? Flux, that Hydra blade should be used for something more awesome. Like what? A super defensive pair of gloves? Hmm, let me analyse how to fit, uh, fit these alongside your meaty palms, uh, uh, alongside those meaty palms of yours real quick. Beep, beep, beep. Remind me not to itch my face when I get these on. What the hell is this? Wild Claws! Oh, Hydra Blade Wood Shankers. Okay, well that sounds pretty cool. Okay, I, I, let's get back to base. Now, I could teleport, but it's only like, it's like a two-second walk, so... Right, let's get over here. Let's go to the, um, to the skinnery. Right, first of all, we can make, I think, a whole bunch of armor. Now, um, I think we do want to make the saw board. Uh, but we'll have a look at it and we'll compare this with the Wild Claws and see which is the best weapon. So let's build one of these. Here we go. And come on, make me a good one. Make me a good one. Is it going to be a, a blue one or? Well, OK. Oh, and it, uh, it's a green. So this is an acceptable storeboard of toxicity. So we compare this against the one that we've already got. Now, this has got the vampire chance, but. Uh, so this has got a movement speed, this has got a movement speed, uh, that's slightly less, but it's still there. The attacks per second is slightly lower, the damage per second is higher though, 90 versus 72. And then it's got a crit chance, increased crit chance, increased poison chance, uh, but it doesn't have the vampire. So, yeah... It doesn't do that much more. I mean, it does 18 more damage, but I really like the vampire thing. So I think we'll stick with the blue one. We'll keep this one for now. Now, I could carry on making these and try and make a better one, but yeah, I'm not going to bother. We will go, We will make a womp hat, I think. Let's make a womp hat, because these look really cool. And again, uh, you get random things on, on all of your armor and all your weapons. So are we going to get a good one? We'll see. Oh, oh, we got a purple. Oh, hell yeah. This is um, health 101, toughness 20%, burn chance. We've got a chance of setting our enemies on fire. Uh, I, think we, I think that's when they hit us. I'm not sure. Uh, we've got HP regen, little bit, and berserk chance. What the hell is that? Oh, I can't wait to go berserk. But that is pretty damn awesome. Oh, should we see what it looks like? Let's, let's see what it looks like. Look, 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 look. we've got the womp hat on now. Cool. All right, let's uh, let's get the womp chest, I think. Uh, we're going to do the womp chest because we've got the wood chest already. Uh, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll do it. I think we'll get a full set of womp armor. I've got plenty of... I harvested lots of womps, wompits. So we should be good. Okay, what, now what's this going to be? Give me another purple. Yeah, acceptable. But this is this gives us like like a lot more health. It gives damage reflect, poison chance, poison resist. We get oh that's good and toughness. Okay, well we'll definitely equip that. Uh, let's make wompy gl wompy gloves. Nothing warms your hands up like the skin of animals. Hell yeah, let's make one of these. I don't, you, you gotta you gotta confess that the, the the interface is very simple it's very easy I do like that but I, I, I don't know it I don't it, it, you kind of lose a little bit of the engagement when it's when it's kind of more involved but I love this random stuff so health 39 toughness yeah okay well we'll equip those and then finally what was it womp womp pants we definitely want womp pants build some of those. Oh, come on, give me blue or purple. Blue or purple. Blue or purple. Poke it. What do we get? Eh, just acceptable. But loads more health. Now, we had about... I think our health was about 82, something like that, before we um, before we made this stuff. Let's go back, and we're now... Whoa, we, okay, we've got it from like 82 to like 320. So we are a hell of a lot tougher let's check this out now um i did find a few new things there's um we can make a wooden table which is very cool 
Uh, we got this glorch, which is a, like a glow thing. Like a torch. Like a glowy torch. That's a glorch. So you can make those as well. We need, um, we need this stuff, which is glow juice, which we can get. Now, these are the Hydra Blade Wood Shankers. Level 3 Legendary Gloves. We need... Oh, we need we need more stuff to make them. Oh man! So yeah, here we go. Hydra blade wood shankers. Okay, build. Ooh, wow! Takes twenty, like almost thirty seconds to just to craft these things. Is this? Is, I'm, I'm guessing this has got like blades built in. So is this a weapon as well? Perk unlocked. Oh. Yeah, no, it's just, no, it's just a pair of gloves. So um, we get a little bit more health, bit more move speed, increases our berserk chance, which is awesome. More poison resist, uh, more toughness. Oh no, sorry, we lose a bit of toughness. We lose some damage reflect. But then, if we're not getting hit, that kind of doesn't matter. But I gotta say, those are not as good as I was hoping they'd be. But. But we've got increased Berserk Chance, so we'll, we'll definitely equip those, I think. So what do we look like now? Oh, we're starting to look very cool. I'll keep an eye out for other rare stuff like this that might be useful. Good call on turning these into Vicious Mitt juice box. Just don't scratch your face. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Quest completed. Craft the wood shankers. I guess we will leave it there for this episode. And uh, in the next episode, maybe we'll actually manage to get down to this um, power pole, whatever the hell that is. I'll get you for the next one, guys. Peace out.